Uh, hi, everyone. This is Kevin Morana. I am the internal wholesaler for South Florida for the uh, term and index universal life products. Our Transamerica Life Sales Desk is set up to support term, uh, final expense, index universal life, med sup, as well as long term care. So, our sales desk here in Denver, if you could all take this number down, this will be your support for med sup and final expense. That phone number is 866 545. 9058. What I'm going to go over today is the term product uh, briefly, uh, the final expense product in more detail, and then I also have Alex Jetter on the line who will be going over uh, a MedSup uh, PowerPoint. Uh, and then with um, any questions that you guys have, uh, uh, I, I assume that we're going to have um, a chat capabilities available or uh, an open forum at the end. So what I'll do is begin right now to go over our, our software. Our software with uh, access to a MedSup uh, website, your website is going to be the tatransact.com and I'll go there real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, not TA Transact. It is, um, this is the agent, the GA portal. I'm sorry, it's going to be your TA agent net info.com. So, this is your producer login when you have access to MedSup. You'd simply log into this website, sign in, and then you have access to your applications and your uh, final expense applications as well. And so when you have access, you also have access to uh, the software. So in this software, I'm not going to, I'm going to go down, down to the final expense products that we have available here. The final expense product is a simplified issue whole life product that is uh, available from zero to 85 for funeral expenses, basically. So when you think of final expense, it goes from 1000 all the way up to $50,000 of simplified issue whole life. So if you're mainly working with selling MedSup and you want to um, later uh, be able to go back to your client and offer them a, a final expense product, um, this product is very, very simple. Um, very simple issue. It is currently a paper application. It will very soon, um, in the next few months, uh, finally be put back on an online application uh, system. So when you looking at the three products we have for final expense, we have your immediate solution, which is your go-to product, your 10-pay solution, which is the immediate solution with paying off your 10 your immediate solution in t over a 10-year period. So you're paying off your whole life product or life product over 10 years. And finally, the easy solution is your graded product. So the underwriter will determine if the client is uh, eligible for that graded product based upon their health. This is not a guaranteed issue product. It simply is a, uh, a simplified issue underwritten product, which means there are no um, health uh, um, uh, or a paramed done uh, at your uh, the client's home or office. So they simply fill out the application, and based upon how they fill out the application, it that is what the rating is going to be for the client. So we have, for example, for this client, but we can say most of your clients are going to be uh, over 45. So our current application is is uh, we have a zero to 44 and a 45 to 85. Most of your clients are going to be the older, the 45 to 85 clients. And that 45 to 85 client, um, we'll, we'll just show you how to run the software very quickly. So you have a 60 Florida male. Uh, you have preferred standard uh, for preferred and preferred uh, smoker. Most of your clients would fall into the preferred uh, category. Over 60% of our clients uh, fall into the preferred. So we'll just put that as preferred. Solve, let's say the 60-year-old wants 
telling me the max here is forty thousand dollars. Let's put twenty five thousand, which is pretty common face amounts for this product. Uh, they want to they want to pay monthly uh, PAC. PAC means that they're going to just pull it out, uh, pre-authorized check, pull out of their account, and then you go to reports and then summary. And the summary is just showing for this. Uh, 60 year old female, 25,000 is $104 a month. And, and in this situation, she would just simply pay this $104 for life. And if we, again, we change that over to the 10 pay solution, which is uh, probably not what she wants, but possibly maybe she's young enough. It's really the 10 pay is uh, better for younger clients. It makes more financial sense. But if we change it, to paying this policy off in 10 years, paying 117, she pays it off in 10 years. So that definitely makes financial sense there. Look at the 10 pay product for her. Um, being that should be seven, uh, well actually, I'm sorry, this says 45, it, it switched, I'm sorry. That didn't make sense. Go back to 60, female, sorry. I wonder why it was so cheap. All right, so now this makes more sense. 50, uh, a 60 year old female preferred non smoker, 158.75. It still makes financial sense because over the, um, by the time she's 70, she no longer has to pay on her whole life policy any longer. Uh, so that is the, um, the product. And then on the application side, again, it's just a paper application. We call it a waterfall application because as you fill out the application, it's going to ask the health questions. The, currently, um, it is a face-to-face -face only application. So uh, I know in the MedSup world, it's um, very rare to see that uh, because you're taking so many online applications. But like I said, but we're expecting sometime um, in the fall, we'll, we'll have our online application where it will not require a face-to-face. Um, and when that becomes available, I'm sure the floodgates will open with our um, agents in the field that really just focus on um, phone conversations uh, and to get to get work done. So that is our our, our um, final expense. I'll go briefly with our terms. We've got we have two term products. So if you ever get a referral from um, a client for uh, maybe their uh, their son, daughter that are looking for a term. Transamerica has a, a Trendsetter Super and the Trendsetter LB. The Trendsetter Super is your bare bones term, uh, which means it doesn't have any bells or whistles. Uh, it's, uh, they, they do have a non-med band and non-med band only goes up to 99,000. But the product I wanna focus on is the living benefit term product. So if you look at our, uh, we have a Trendsetter LB30 and with the LB30, what your um, what LB30 means it's a 30-year uh, term, and so the pro the figuring out the uh, software is the same thing. You just let's say standard non-smoker. It does have a larger non-med band, all the way up to 249, 9 999 for non-med. And so what that would mean again is no paramed. It would based upon how they're how they're answering the uh, application, as well as they do run a prescription, uh, uh, script check, a uh, motor vehicle record, and the MIB. So I go to reports here. It's going to tell me pricing, reports, summary. It's going to tell me pricing for this product for a 45-year-old male. It's uh, This is non-med. We also have an online application for term, which is using IGO, and you do not have to be face-to-face. -face. We also, for non-med, we also have what's called our point-of-sale decision process. With the point-of-sale decision process, we can take a non-med application on our term side and put it through underwriting uh, where you're taking that application over the phone and in approximately 15 minutes after you submit that application, you could potentially get an underwriting decision uh, if it's a clean file, meaning that they don't have any any uh, medications, they don't have a problem with uh, motor vehicle record, 
And then if we're able to get a decision that quick with this product, then we're going to be emailing the uh, policy out to the insured, and the goal is to get that policy sent out within 48 hours. So the term product, especially the living benefit, and I'll explain what living benefit means in a moment, is a great product to have in your back pocket for those type of referrals. So what does living benefit mean? So if I go to reports and I go to illustration, this is the full illustration on the product. It's going to give me the definition of what living benefit means. So it has a terminal illness if you, uh, in the event of uh, the, the client is uh, terminal, meaning they're, uh, they're not going to live for the next 12 months. They can accelerate um, up to 100% of the policy, up to $1.5 million. But this is what I really want to focus on, the chronic and the critical. On the chronic side, so if the client can't perform two of the six activities of daily living um, and there is a um, – um, that chronic illness can have an impact on their life expectancy, they can access um, up to 90% of their, of their death benefit, and that would be up to 24% per year to a total of 90%. So um, – and then on our critical side – same thing, they can access up to 90% of that death benefit, whereas it, it also depends on the reduction in life expectancy. That is very important. So in this example, what they're showing is, in, in this illustration, if there is, this is a $249,000 policy and this individual at age 45 were to go on claim at age 60, and had, would have a, a critical illness, let's say it's a heart attack, cancer, stroke, they have the ability to get a check from Transamerica for $161,000, and this is an 80% reduction in the life expectancy. So I'm sure you know folks that um, who had a heart attack, suffered some cancer or, or a stroke, and they survived. Well, their quality of life as well as their um, – job options and work, uh, be, being able to work, every their whole life changes. So being able to offer them a very large check for from their life insurance policy to pay for those new expenses that they're going to incur. Maybe they need a, a ramp to get to their home. They need a, a bathroom door widened for their wheelchair. Whatever it is, they have that money available. And I'm sure that you're asking, uh, well, they had a face amount of 249 You said 90%. Well, that doesn't compute. Now we have only 160. Where's the rest? Well, Transamerica is going to take um, fees as well as the, the present value of future premiums. So the difference of the 45 and the 60 um, on this product, this is a 30-year, they're, they're collecting the present value of future premiums to help pay for that, uh, to be able to offer that service. So they are collecting uh, premium uh, to the, the future premiums to offer that service to pay out those that that accelerated death benefit. So that's that difference of that 90% you may be asking. So um, being that we've gone over the final expense and term, I, uh, I, I, I'd like to, uh, now for Alex to go over the meds up side and then you know, we can uh, either open up for questions or actually, I don't know, um, Austin, is there any anyone have any questions right now before I, we move on? Nobody has any questions right now. Okay, great. All right. Well, if we could uh, maybe give control to Alex, and she has a, a PowerPoint she'd like to go over. All right, I switched the uh, presenter to Alex. Okay. There we go. Good morning, everyone. Is my screen showing up here? Yes, it is. All right. Good deal. You have to move it to the. Oh, there we go. Are, are you seeing the full PowerPoint? Or are you seeing the? I have two monitors. I'm not sure which one's showing up for you guys. The smaller part. You okay. can see the next slide, but we also see the current slide. Let's see. Oh, well, 
we'll work with what we got here. Um, go to webinar. I'm not the most familiar with it, so we'll go ahead and go from here. So, morning everyone. I want to cover some of the ins and outs of Medicare supplement insurance, as well as talking points for discussing the product, reasons to sell, all of that fun information here. And then I'll go briefly over the website for the Medicare supplements. So, getting started here. Perhaps my screen will go. There we go. So, reason we're seeing so much sales increase for MedSAP is by 2030, all the baby boomers will be older than age 65. So that to the point where one in every five U.S. residents will be of retirement age. This is a huge market, huge potential for Medicare supplement sales. And so a huge opportunity it's because pretty much everyone 65 and older is using Medicare. So this is a huge market to work with, lots of opportunity for sales. So in 2016, there were 56.8 million seniors on Medicare. And about 10,000 people are turning 65 every day. So there's no shortage of people to work with. And so working with the seniors, you can help them prepare for retirement and address their concerns for health care costs. And as health care costs are one of the biggest concerns people have in retirement and how they're going to pay for their care. This is a huge topic for them. I want to do a quick overview of how Medicare works. So it's for people age 65 and older, or if they're under 65 with certain disabilities or end-stage renal disease. There's Medicare Part A, which is going to provide inpatient hospital coverage. Medicare Part B, which is covering physician services and supplies. Part D is provided by insurance carriers to cover drug, prescription drug costs. We don't work with that, but that is something that is a part of the Medicare formula here. And then there's also Medicare Part C, which refers to Medicare Advantage plans, which function like HMOs and PPOs for under 65. And it's an alternative to traditional Medicare, so Parts A and B. So what the, where the Medicare supplements come in, or what some people refer to as the Medigap, is covering the gaps that Medicare doesn't, that the traditional Medicare doesn't cover. Because um, out of expenses are out of pocket expenses are unpredictable for seniors, because there's deductibles, co-pays, co-insurance that they can't plan for that Medicare won't cover. So the, by offering a Medicare supplement or Medigap policy, they can help um, plan for costs, and they're not going to have unexpected um, out-of-pocket expenses like they would if they were didn't have a Medicare supplement. And so Medicare beneficiaries with a new cancer diagnosis were vulnerable to a high out-of-pocket cost depending on their supplement insurance. So people who didn't have Medicare supplement insurance incurred out-of-pocket expenses that were a mean of 23.7% higher, 23.7% um, 23 of their household income, which is a huge portion of their income when they're, especially during retirement age, on their fixed budget. So... Medicare um, plans are identified by letters from A to N. Each standardized plan has to offer the same benefits no matter what carrier sells it. So a plan F with Transamerica is going to cover the exact same benefits as a plan F with any other Medicare supplement carrier. The differentiators are going to be based off of cost, which it varies by location. And so Medicare, Medigap policies are going to cover partial or all of the costs not covered by Medicare, depending on which plan is selected. And so some clients may be able to pay out-of-pocket costs easier, while other clients can't afford to not have Medicare supplement. When it comes to outpatient procedure costs, let's say they have a procedure that costs 10000 their Part B annual deductible is $183. Medicare's covering $7,853. They don't have a Medicare supplement policy. They're exposed to all of the remaining 
So that's why it's so key to have this Medicare cell phone policy so they can plan for their expenses. Now, something I do want to mention that's not in this slide or in this presentation, but is important to know. And as of January 1st, 2020, no carriers will be able to offer Medicare plans C or F. Reason being is Congress decided in 2011 that Medicare supplement policies could no longer cover this Part B deductible. So that hundred and eighty three dollars deductible, which is, um, is no longer able to be covered by a Medicare supplement plan. So those plans will be going away for people who join Medicare after 1-1-2020. If someone is on Medicare prior to that date, they will still be able to, they're grandfathered in and still can purchase those plans. However, I wouldn't necessarily advise towards that, mostly because that group of people who are on those plan F or plan C are going to be an only aging demographic. And with Medicare supplements, as demographics age, costs go up, as do um, costs for the insurance carrier to cover those clients goes up. So typically, so does the cost of the insurance. So I would not necessarily recommend going that route for your clients. And the only difference between Plan F and Plan G is that Part B deductible. So that $183, which is the only difference between the two, it's not it's not worth putting them on that in order to see them having just down, um, increased in cost down the line. And so how Medicare supplement plans benefit your client it helps reduce the uncertainty by covering a portion of health care costs, improves retirement planning by reducing the number of risk factors to manage. There's no networks, so anywhere that accepts Medicare is going to accept a Medicare supplement policy. It's a fairly common question we get on our sales desk member that Kevin gave you earlier in the presentation is whether or not a procedure is covered by a Medicare supplement policy. We as the carrier don't um, make that decision as long as Medicare's approved, it's a Medicare approved um, procedure, then we're going to cover the gaps. Now, if something's not approved by Medicare or they don't accept Medicare, then the Medicare supplement is not going to cover the cost because that is that's designed as a gap coverage, not for standalone insurance. So it's, Medicare's not covering it. It's not going to be covered by the Medicare supplement. And as I mentioned earlier, premiums are going to be, for your clients are going to be based on the state where the with that it's issued zip code in that state, age and gender. And for your business, selling Medicare supplement plans can help you build your business. Uh, business. It generates referrals and opens doors to new clients. It's something you can talk about existing clients, new clients. If they're over 65, ask them what they're doing for their health insurance because it's something that they have to they have to do something because most seniors can't afford to not have coverage. So this is an, an important conversation that they need to be having. And if you can be a device for them, it really strengthens bonds with the client. Also, it's a great intro product. It offers opportunities for cross-selling. Predominantly for us, we see a lot of, when you're talking about Medicare supplement, it gives you a chance to follow up with, well, we've talked about your health insurance. Now what does your life insurance coverage look like? Have you planned for this? So these are all conversations that you can have with your clients about surrounding Medicare supplements as well as tying it into other parts of your business. And so Medicare supplements can be sold all year long. We can sell them either face-to-face, -face, over the phone, e-app. Something to keep in mind, there are, we see, uh, usually see a lot of people working with Medicare supplements towards the end of the year. Reason being from October 15th to December 7th the, is the annual enrollment period for Medicare Advantage plans, which is that Part C where people are coming and going from those plans. So when they leave a Medicare Advantage plan, you see a lot of people coming back to original Medicare and selecting a Medicare supplement policy. So that's why you see a lot of when agents are focusing on MedSup, that's going to be their busiest time of year. So these are the two questions you can grow your business by asking your prospects. What arrangements have you made regarding your health insurance? And when was the last time you spoke to your agent about this coverage? Medicare supplement plans should be reviewed every couple of years. Reason being, 
carriers have rate changes every year. So you want to make sure that this is still the best product for your, your, soul, if your client with the best carrier at the best price for their age and gender. So the best agents I've seen will review their policies every couple of years to make sure it's still the best fit for their client. If health-wise, they can qualify, go through underwriting and qualify through another carrier, then it's something that's an important discussion to have with your clients. So it's a Medicare supplement's going to offer valuable benefits. Your, your clients have this need if they're over 65. This is a conversation they, they need to be having. So if you have clients that are in this age group, this is an easy conversation to get your foot in the door or to come back to clients you've already worked with. For our sales, um, for our Transamerica, our inbound sales desk supports this line of business, so they'll be able to answer your questions on this product. And again, this can only um, provide more things that you can discuss your clients, creates referrals. And again, these policies should be reviewed every few years. So it just creates more demand for you to come and talk to your clients. It's a good, good excuse to give them a call and say, hey, we haven't looked at this policy in a couple of years. Let's check up and make sure that this is still the best option for you. So that is my presentation on the Medicare supplements. I did want to go briefly take a look at the website just so you guys can take a look of what's where you can get your materials. This will take a while. I apologize, it's going to make this verification will take a while. So, But this TA agent net info is where you would be able to pull any, um, any marketing materials. All rate sheets are going to be available through this website applications. This is where you would access the e-app. Fortunately, this will take a while for me to get the email for this to show, so I won't be able to go over that. So are there any questions that anyone has or anything that I didn't cover that we would like to dive a little deeper into? There's no questions right now, but if anybody has any, they can go ahead and type them in. All right, so not seeing any questions coming in here. I said our inbound team will be able to answer some of those questions and will help support that Medicare supplement business line. And if you have, if you'd like to take back over, or whoever, um, well, Austin was running the um, start of this call, so whoever um, wants to take back over, I appreciate you guys listening to my little chat about med stuff today. Thanks, Alex. Uh, so we, as, as I, I'll, I'll say that number again, um, the eight six six five four five nine zero five eight, and we are here uh, from. Um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Time, so 8 to 8 your time, and uh, except on Fridays we're here 8 to uh, uh, 8 to 7 your time. Um, but uh, we have, like I said, the the guys and gals here can help with um, final expense quotes, your med sub quotes, med sub questions about the uh, TA um, Agent Net Info website. Um, and you'd simply log in to that website, register on that website, and then you would have access to your online application to uh, sell the Transamerica product line. And if there are no other questions, um, then um, uh, just uh, give that number a call if you have any questions in the future. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank today. you guys so much for, in, for for inviting us. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye.